art that's here, the traditions, uh, the great food and wine and, and the, the culture for living in a very creative way is really at the heart of being in the Veneto. They, I think, are quite surprised by the fact that uh, the, the facilities are as spacious as they are. You have a workout center, you can go to basically any time of the day. Great athletic facilities and a pool and a game room. There is uh, living quarters for everybody. There is wireless internet available. You open up your window and it's like the most beautiful mountains you've probably ever seen. Each dorm has their own bathroom, which is awesome just a beautiful campus. We're in a small town. It allows our students to, to go out and find ways to interact. I tutored an Italian girl for the entire year I was there. We have students coach basketball teams. We have students who in the past have gone around and done volunteer work around the community. I went to a local vendor's house. He invited me last minute and I went and got to meet his whole family. Students, by um, going into that situation, having dinner with an Italian family, are gaining an experience which is often one of the most difficult experiences in business. I went into a program where the classes are taught in English and I was allowed to slowly, gradually get into the culture and learn the language at my own pace. Definitely learn some Italian. I think for people with an open mind, they'll pick it up really quick. It, it's kind of fun. I, I just got my hair cut from a guy in Rome who didn't speak any English at all. It was a little terrifying. It's a little shorter than normal, but it worked out okay. Because the consortium of universities has over 30 schools to draw from, the best professors in each subject, as rated by their home institutions, are able to be selected to come to the programs. They're, they're the best of the best. They're picked from all over the country, and you know they know what they're doing. They've been probably the best professors that I've had in college. I even have two professors who are native Italians, and they're from the local area. Working in like Italian companies gives them a little different perspective than an American professor would have. You don't have busy work. It's interaction, it's one-on-one -on -one time with professors. I mean, I've asked several of my professors during dinner questions regarding the previous lecture just to get a good feel on it. The students are excellent. We're rigorous in who we admitted to the program. So this semester I'm an RA here at Chimba. Um, it's been a fantastic experience. I love it. I have like the student perspective um, because I'm also a student, but then also I see what's going on in the administrative office. All these people that are here um, have something in common in the sense that they want to make that adventure to go travel and study abroad. I really appreciate the ability to interact with such a high quality group of students. You might think, well, theoretically, I'm taking the same classes I'd be taking in my home university. What is the difference? Well, the difference is you're living in another culture. When we're doing it in Italy, all of a sudden, it makes a difference. And we can relate it directly to what we see. All the classes, um, like, such as global marketing and global entrepreneurship, have that international aspect. I'm taking every class I need to graduate. It worked out perfectly. It's not setting me back one bit. The Veneto region is really remarkably entrepreneurial friends who work in local businesses who have come in to speak in my class and equally we've gone out. Whether you come in the summer or the semester, you'll take a, a company tour. At the last tour I went on, uh, we did the whole tour with a marketing director and then at the end the president came down and gave everyone his business card. The company tour has actually had a whole new dimension to the learning. It's out of the classroom. We visited wine uh, producing companies, we visited software companies. It's truly amazing that it's all located so close to, to this campus. Almost every single course here at Chimba has some sort of group work uh, within the class. Often they're doing things rather than just reading about it. The program was set up to have academic integrity first. And so many of the other study abroad programs, the weakest link tends to be in the academics. What we've seen grow here is also the journalism and the communications program. I'm taking a journalism ethics class. Um, there's a couple other classes on design and journalism. Because they work so closely together, I think it brings everybody's work up. Business students can always use more perspective. At Chimba, semester students have additional opportunities. Those students are offered the opportunity to engage in our leadership program here called LEAP. When people say leadership, leadership is a very soft art. And neuroscience is digging deeper into why this works. We always push to be cognizant of how it's going to affect our classes, our projects, our traveling. LEAP is a leadership 
development program that is available to any of our students who want to participate. It involves many different leadership competencies, coaching, and team building activities. It's really this kind of progressive uh, set of, of resume reviews and even mock interviews. Living with like passion and, and conviction and finding out what those things that you are excited about. We move them to understanding the language of communications in terms of decision making, problem solving in the form of Kepner Trigo. Kepner Trigo is a communication tool that asks the right questions. We all know how to solve problems, make decisions, but the important thing is how do you communicate that to other people. The critical part to a leadership driven program is trust. We found that the most effective tool is the challenges that are provided by Low Ropes Course. We use the Ropes Course early on in the program and it helps people to meet one another, to get to know one another. That shared experience becomes traveling groups or study groups or friends that all of a sudden are friends from Oregon all the way to Delaware. You're going to be so happy that you did it. Um, it'll be a really great, rewarding experience. I think one of the greatest things of this program is we give them enough time to travel. During those travel periods, the students are completely free of any studying responsibility. There's so many countries around. People go to Switzerland on the weekends. Uh, people go to Austria on the weekends. I'm going to Slovenia this weekend. Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, France, Spain, Morocco. Traveling can be challenging. Uh, things can happen that don't go exactly to a student's plan and it's when they overcome those challenges that all of a sudden they realize everything that they're capable of. Directly to our north you have historical Monte Grappa and to our south you have the entire Venetian plain. We're about an hour travel time northwest of Venice. Venice is exactly like the movies but better when you get to experience it in person. We actually went on a gondola and uh, we went into the square where there was live music. You find out what you're made of. You learn how to get around. You learn how to get along. That powerful learning of getting outside of your comfort zone actually does pair with the academic learning. It's more than just traveling Europe. It's, it truly is about self-development and problem solving and also adventure. You can come for a summer session, which is a shorter time period, or you can come for a full semester. Summer is an action-packed month. I think I've probably learned more in this four week compacted session than I probably would have learned in a regular semester. Whereas the semester-long program is a lot more in-depth. I think the student that leaves here is typically a lot more mature, more uh, open-minded, more accountable, more adventuresome. Just the fact that you've had international experience alone says a lot about your willingness to try new things. I think it says a lot about the person being able to come over here and you know, be thrown into a situation that you don't know anything about. Businesses look for people who can adapt to change. The ability to deal with different people in different cultures from different backgrounds it's still going to be very important no matter where you work. My experiences in Italy had a big contribution to getting my internship with Eli Lilly. Often the hardest and most challenging things we do in our lives end up being the most rewarding.